you are expecting a rant or pointing fingers kung sino yung mali between kay Tulfo or yung teacher, uh, you are in a wrong channel. If you want to watch people getting mad or getting triggered with regards to this topic, I think there are a lot more videos out there na para doon. But instead, what I wanted to talk in this video are the things you could learn from the recent incident dun sa show ni Tulfo. I first took notice dito sa topic na to when my former teacher nung high school suddenly post a lot sa Facebook and alam mo yun, siya yung taong hindi masyado ma-post so you know something is serious or something is up when he posts a lot and nung binasa ko yung mga post niya, it's about uh, parents being overprotected dun sa mga anak nila and it's something na I talk about during a podcast ko earlier this year sobrang ano na natin, sobrang soft hindi tayo makatake ng criticism onting ano lang dami na reklamo yung ganun ko rin kung bakit eh hindi ako ganun eh <laughs> hindi, hindi, pero pansinin mo oo uh, tama naman sobrang soft at first i thought it was just a general thought ng teacher ko kasi may nangyari sa kanya but as i dig deeper it was pala about a tuloy show where nireklamo ng family yung teacher so kasi there's a kid and yung kid kasi pinalabas ng teacher niya sa classroom and feeling ng family niya because pinalabas yung kid sa classroom ay marami nakita yung anak nila is traumatized so nagreklamo sila sa Tulfo and ang parang naging action ni Tulfo is bigyan niya yung binigyan niya na option yung teacher over the phone live na it's either you face a lawsuit or para i-revoke mo yung license mo as a teacher and if you want to know the nitty-gritty of the details ng nangyari I'll put links below but it's not the point of this video let's move on to sa point ko na uh, we could learn something from this Case number one, online or media shaming. Once you're saying something over the internet or any media that can cause damage the credibility of another person, you should think about it a million times before sharing or posting something. So, ano nga yari is, uh, marami na galit kay Tulfo dun sa decision niya because parang he judged it unfairly. So, nag-apologize na siya but the problem is the damage has already been done. And isa pang hindi go maisip na sasabi niya is with how big yung platform niya hindi yan na isip na this would go big kasi it's just really a small issue lumaki lang cause he does it or parang nilabas niya to in public the teacher is not the first victim of online or media shaming back in 2012 meron si Paula Salvosa so if you're not familiar with her siya yung ama liar so what happened is parang she was caught uh, sa video na nag viral cause nagereklamo siya or nagaran siya over sa uh, security guard sa LRT and to be honest I think it was overblown by the internet hindi dapat ganun magiging kalaki yung issue na yun and dumating sa point na nahirapan siyang ma-employed because of that viral video and if titi mo it was just really unfair because uh, hindi natin alam because uh, alam mo yun, parang everyone has their ups and downs and malay mo you, you just caught someone in their lowest point and you don't ask their permission to share their lives publicly and hindi naman sila nag-volunteer to be judged by the public so ang lesson lang doon just be aware be intentional and alam mo parang be mindful of what you post over the internet yun na lang Case number two, don't feel offended slash overprotection. I'm not pertaining to the teacher anymore. I'm pertaining to all of us. Looking at it, yung kid feels ashamed kasi pinalipas siya ng teacher niya sa classroom and madaming nakita. What the family claims is that yung child nila, yung kid nila, feels traumatized sa na nangyari and si Tulfo naman feels na na-abuse yung kid. What we are trying to do is to give our kids a perfect world where everyone feels safe, feel protected, and feel included. And to be honest, I think yun yung talaga yung tamang gawin. But we have to be aware that in reality, our kids will face adversity. And dapat nilang matutunan how to navigate through it and how to go through it. If you are trying to solve every problem na yung kid mo will face, you're giving them a disservice kasi the best time to learn how to face or go through adversity is while you are a kid. Kasi there's no downside pa dun eh. You're providing pa for their finances. And if you let them learn how to solve their own problems, it will definitely pay off once they're an adult. Quick personal story lang. I have a college classmate where yung mom niya is a stage mom. So every defense, every presentation, laging present yung mom niya. And up to the point na nung nag-board exam na yung classmate yung yun, even sa pag review niya, sobrang involved pa rin yung mom niya. And I'm not judging whether tama or mali yung ginawa ng mom niya. What I'm sure of lang is, it's a disservice dun sa classmate ko. Because 
yung mom niya took away the time where she could learn how to be responsible and independent sa sarili niya. Because hindi pa siya adult noon eh, parang nasa school pa siya. And yun lang, it's just sad because once na ganun nangyari, it's just, ah, uh, paano ba? Lugi ka once you're an adult because hindi mo natutunan yun while you're young. Case number three, be mindful of what you consume. Hindi ko alam kung saan ko nakuha tong advice na to, pero this advice was to stop watching the news. And tinaray ko siya and it makes my life less stressful. Kasi pansin niyo may news, ang news natin, ang balita naman, it's always someone dying or a tragedy or kaya naman may nagko-complain. And it's almost always negative. Or kaya naman when you're scrolling through social media and may nakita ang toxic na tao, and pansinin mo yung mga sinishare niya, uh, parang puro negative. Then, watch your mood. Pansinin mo yung mood mo, ano yung mood mo once you consume those kind of content. Most of the time, you'll feel bad, sad, or anything negative. A few months ago, I was reading a book about mental health. And sabi dun sa book na yun, our moods are dictated by our thoughts or our perceptions. Let me share this diagram from the book. So, makita mo dun, there's a world. Let's replace it with content. And yung content, uh, it's... Wala naman siya meaning it's neutral, positive, or negative. Then you have your thoughts or perceptions. Once na pumasok na yun sa thoughts or perceptions mo, that's how you process yung content. And yung process na yun, that will dictate your mood. What I just want to emphasize is let's be mindful of what we consume. Because what we consume dictates our mood. Watching too much of Tulfo is bad. Let me repeat, too much. Bakit? Because uh, Tulfo is a show that tries to give social justice. So, pagkatikin naman, once na may marinig ka ang story of injustice, it automatically triggers yung aggression mo, which is bad. I'm not just pertaining to sa content ni Tulpo, but to all the content that we consume, let's all be mindful. And huwag tayo mag-play as a victim, and let's not be dumb. That's all the point I have. Hope you got something informative. That's it. Bye!